Since the Pension Disqualification Act of 1983, workers have been sent home without a government pension. Retired nursing assistant Joanne Francis voiced her grievance after retiring from government service without a pension in an interview in March. I, work, I was based at the old mental, I came in at the old mental, then I went over to Mongay, I worked at Radun, and you know, I worked at Carlton House, I worked General Hospital 2008 to 2013, I was at the General Hospital, and then I went back into the Richmond home, you know, and I retired from the Richmond home. And you go in there, all they give you is a letter, and they tell you, well, thanks for walking, you know, for walking. And they, and they tell you, um, enjoy your retirement. What am I to do enjoy it with? Now that salary negotiation is completed with government, public sector unions, particularly the Public Workers Union, have switched their focus to addressing the issue. The union's president, Rachel Roberts, has called on all its members to join in on the march, expected to be held later this month. Section 72 of the Constitution gives us our pension, and we want to see it honored like that. And it clearly states that we must not get a pension that is less than what we were supposed to get. So it must not disadvantage us. And we believe that the pension that is being suggested by our employer disadvantages us. Retirees are being assured that a way forward has been found. Minister for Labour Oliver Joseph says a major announcement will be made in his address during the May Day celebrations that will be of keen interest to retirees from the public service. Yes, yeah, that's a good question because you're right. Well, we set the salary and wages, and by the way, for the other two unions, they are negotiating fringe benefit. Now, pension is on something that is a burning issue that this government has decided that they will address. And a committee has been established. They made some recommendation, and the committee is now in place studying the recommendation. And on May Day, in my speech as a Labour Minister on May Day, I will have a major announcement to make about pension. Colin Campbell, GB News.